Hello Skelevatorites and friends of Skelevator. Today I got together with friends of the channel, Blue Snaggle Rocker and Captain Biscuit 71 and we went to the Ohana Fresno Anime Toy Comic Con. Uh, we had a look around, found some interesting things, and then we decided to continue our, our journey and we went to TNT Collectibles. So come with us and have a look at the things that we found. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you what I picked up. Like all of those except for one, and I don't remember which one you have. I don't, I don't remember which one is missing. Oh, yeah, I helped two years ago. That was a four thousand dollar vote. Uh, hope that, I wish they would make the next 23 movie. I just hope they do. I don't know if Daphne King would still be in the movie. Because I mean, she did. I mean, yeah. She looks like she did. Cricket? Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, look at that. <laughs> this guy, this guy has that thing. He does? Is that the one you have? Or you have the yellow cord? No, I have that one. No, that one. Thank you. No, that, that one's a pop. You guys recognize this Barbasol can? From uh, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, that's right. <laughs> oh, let's see. You have to get it. That's sweet. That's, 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 that's what you have to get. Yeah, that's good. That's when you kick yourself yeah, in the butt if they open it up. I'm gonna ask. How much for the Fast Max? Five bucks? Sold. All right, I'm here with Blue Snaggle Rocker and Captain Biscuit 71. Yeah! We just went, <laughs> we just went to uh, anime toy show. Yeah, something like that. We found a couple things, but um, I think we're gonna get our real toy satisfaction from coming to TNT Collectibles show here in Fresno. Let's go on in. 
That's this guy's first time here. Oh, it's your first time? First time. Oh, you're gonna have fun. Yeah. Okay, we got the, the original gray skull. We got the origins point dread, but this is what I'm really interested in. The sad clown? The sad clown. <laughs> <laughs> With the lightsaber. With the lightsaber. <laughs> Uh, Emmett Kelly, that's right. Jedi Master. <laughs> Jedi Master Emmett Kelly. Even that, even that one's not too bad. All right, we've got an original Don Post Tor Johnson mask. Now that's cool. 200 bucks. I remember seeing these in the backs of the magazines. Always a very popular mask. So cool. I know what I'm gonna be for Halloween when I can afford it. It's in person, that's the- two, two that's, or whatever. No, this there. is the CGI Netflix He-Man oh. Castle Grey Skull. That, I don't know how um, I feel about that. It's actually not, it's really good. I was surprised at how good it was. I just had to sit down and get past the, the first three episodes. Pretty good. Um, it's a lot of fun. That's oh. just, that's just, I wonder if they do a deal with it. Massive. Yeah, because it stands like that, John, like that tall. But I don't know where I put it. Uh, you hang yeah. it from your ceiling. Yeah. Ghostly sounds. These Peter Pan records. Remember this logo? You're going to see this logo and you're going to be like, oh, that takes me back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's love it. Rocketeer. Oh, Rocketeer. Yeah, that artwork's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. What does it say? 30 bucks? Yep. Look at the Horde Trooper. Uh, <laughs> Look at these. Yeah. With, uh, Horde Trooper He Man. Yeah. They do a good job. Yeah, great customs here. So, yeah. Magos Toy Customs. You see the Magos or Magos? This is very cool. I really dig that uh, paint scheme. Oh, the anti Eternia. Yeah, oh, anti-Eternia Ram Man. I have the... Yeah, that's clean. The, the that's nice. The, the, the Snout spout back there. Uh, yeah. Anti-Eternia Ram Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are bad off. Yeah. Wow. I get, wow. I get that in the, in the box. There's that nice Kirk right there, uh, braided. Miko. Oh, yeah. That's great. Beautiful. 60 bucks. No way. It's actually a good price for that. In the Plexi? Yeah. That's a really good price for that. And this um, Classics Moss Man's not a bad price either, 60 bucks. Oh yeah, you're right. We got some Classics and DC Universe pair-ups yeah. in the back. What, about 10 years ago. You were gonna get it? Well, it was only like 25 bucks. Oh, that's cheap. In the box. And I didn't... It's get a good it. way to get yourself a classic uh, skeleton. Yeah, definitely. That's exactly what I was thinking. Even I really if you're do. Not really into the other. Yeah, I'm not into molar, but I love the the paint for on his face bucks. and the missing tooth. Yeah, that's great. There's no way you're gonna get a, a classic skeleton for twenty five dollars. Mm -mm. All right, he's gonna get it. Man, oh man. He's making the leap. Wow, that sounds good. Wait, let's, let's do that. <laughs> All right, Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's amazing. Cool. We, all, we all picked up some yeah. stuff. Nice. All right, that was amazing. Um, so many cool things. I mean, the Comic Con or the, the, the Anime Con, um, a little, I'm not so into anime. It was really cool seeing those older comic books. Love that. 
And then, but when we went to TNT Collectibles, that's always a blast. I mean, it's right up my alley. Blue Snaggle Rocker and Captain Biscuit 71, they love that stuff too. So we just had a blast. Here are the things that I picked up. Captain Biscuit 71 gave this to me as a gift. And it is the IG-88 Lego minifig. And he is so cool. So it comes with his weapons and everything. So Captain Biscuit 71, thank you so much. Also, thank you for the lunch we had after. Um, so yeah, there's, there's that. And then I don't know if you saw in the video, but I did end up grabbing the Fast Max little wind up Ronald McDonald vehicle still on card. And I just love this thing. So look at that. Look at the uh, illustrations of how to do it. And if you look on the front, you know, now I gotta find the uh, Hamburglar one and the Officer Big Mac one. Very, very cool. I, I haven't, I've never had this guy. I didn't have him as a kid. He actually came out later in the Masters of Universe line and I just didn't pay too much attention to him. But now I really, I really like this guy. And even seeing him in person, I like him more. Um, he's incomplete. He doesn't have the little thing you put in here to rev him up. But here is my new old drag store. Very cool. Wheel turns. There's some, you know, he's been played with the typical scrapes on his face and chest from him actually being played with. It's nice to see. And I actually, I don't mind that at all. Um, and I had never really paid too much attention to the jet pack on the back. Very cool. What an, what an exciting design this is. So I'm really happy. Look at how cute that little horde symbol is right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy to have drag store in the collection now. But most importantly, I just had a blast with two friends. So Blue Snaggle Rocker I knew way back when, but reconnected with him through the channel and then Captain Biscuit now is a, is a friend. I mean, I love that about this channel. I love that we all share these interests and man, when we had lunch afterward, we just talked and talked and talked about our favorite toys, you know, things that are on our wish lists, like grail pieces, grail pieces that we have. It was, a, it was a lot of fun. And so Blue Snaggle Rocker and Captain Biscuit 71, thank you both so much for hanging with me today. And then also folks, please click like and subscribe and tell your friends about the Skelevator channel. Um, I really appreciate you all tuning in and being here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.